Hello, welcome. This is the Zodiac readings for the beginning of the week. Um, some of you probably know that I wasn't very well. I haven't been very well for about two weeks now. It's been taking ages to get better. Um, I keep feeling a little bit better and then it seems to hold me back a bit. But um, that's the process, isn't it, of being human? <laughs> so, um, yeah, luckily, I think I'm feeling better today. I seem to be getting there now. Um, I hope you're doing all right as well. And so, yeah, well, apologies, there hasn't been as many videos. I didn't do any over the weekend as well. I just just thought, oh, take the weekend off, you know. Um, so I hope you've been taking care of yourselves as well and, you know, just connecting with, with yourself um and spirit so um the the cards i'm using today i'm using this lovely deck for our relationship message because it's the beginning of the week i'm going to use the fortune telling deck um and i'm using the hidden truth oracle to see what our person is thinking and the archangel power tarot because i thought it might be nice to have a bit of power <laughs> uh, with some positive vibes for the beginning of the week um, to see what advice our spirit guides have. So um, that's everything really. So thanks for giving the video a thumbs up because it does help it get out across YouTube. That's really much appreciated. And um, yeah, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'm sending you all so much love across Gaia because um, I know it's not easy living in this matrix and, you know, everything we have to contend with so you've got my love and uh but i think as a soul family we're we're doing very well i think we're coming on leaps and bounds all the time so um you know you've got my love so let's go into the message then so we're going to start off with taurus okay yin yang oh we've got the twin flame <laughs> Like the yin yang symbol, fit, the twin flame contains an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Okay, so there's something to do with um, the people in your life or a certain person in your life that is sort of mirroring a quality to you that you might not like, but it's just to help you become aware of your own ego and how you don't want to slip into the false identity, you don't want to slip into a negative energy um and the, it's just you know that that twin flame person or maybe it's not your twin flame maybe it's just people generally in your life that are triggering you at the moment <laughs> they're just triggering you to help you see what parts of your you know where are you sort of Id identifying it as a false or negative identity um and how to just observe it and say oh i don't like that and it just helps to remind us to come back into our heart and back into our true self, okay? So it's like, we don't wanna get so embroiled in those negative aspects we see in somebody. Um, it's actually to help us identify our own negative aspects and realize that's not us um, and be in our true heart center. So, so there is the message about relationships and how they're sort of guiding you at the moment. Um, so you might have been triggered, basically, by somebody lately. And that's why that's coming out. Um, you've got here the card expectations. So this week, you might be thinking quite a bit about what, what your next steps are going to be. You know, what's going to happen next? Um, perhaps you're waiting to find something out. Um, Okay, so recently you've been going into hermit mode a lot and it's, this has been really good for you. Sometimes hermit mode is a bit of a tricky time um, because you feel a bit insular, a bit isolated, maybe a bit alone at times. But it's a really necessary part of your journey that spirit puts you into to help you um, really uh, raise your level of consciousness. So um, spirit's actually trying to help you. Um, Spirit's been trying to help you, basically, Taurus, to spend time alone so that you can make realisations and raise in your consciousness level, like, you know, go into your heart even more and be your true self even more. So that's what's kind of been going on with you. Now, this week, you're, you've got the um, Page of Pentacles, which is a really good card to get. Um, you're really 
feeling more passionate and excited here about what new beginning you might be going into next, right? Sorry, let's move the camera a little bit. And um, it's, yeah, it's exciting. Um, then there's anticipation there. You might feel a bit nervous, but then also excited. Um, it's important to stay focused with this card. With the Page of Pentacles, it's about really applying yourself to what you've realized and not allowing anything to obstruct you from that. You know, don't let anything distract you or um, get obstruct you from this new beginning, this, this exciting realization or new beginning that you're now on. Um, the energy that you're attracting is amazing. So you've been doing so much good work here, really, really working hard, Taurus, on your awakening journey and working hard on your life. And because of that, you're actually attracting similar energies. Um, here, there's an energy of people that want to work with you and see your potential. Um, this is somebody that you're drawing in this week who works hard, um, is real. Um, you know, these are either, you know, people in general or a particular person who, you know, they care, they're genuine, they're willing to put in the work. Um, and they've got the Ace of Pentacles. So you could be offered something this week that is really great, you know, and um, is like the, a new beginning. Um, again, it's like mirroring here. You're drawing in, drawing in energies, attracting energies of people who do want a new beginning and who um, could, could potentially offer you something really good, like I said. Let's see what this person or group energies are thinking um somebody's saying here i hope that you can forgive me one day okay so th there's an underlying sense that there's been um some triggers okay because with that first card yin yang you know with the message about the fact that um you're you you all everyone can everyone in your life is containing an aspect of yourself so there's obviously been triggers between you and somebody else. And underneath all of that, there is consciousness, you know. So there is a sense of underlying peace and harmony and forgiveness going on. So there may be somebody that's kind of regretting the way they treated you, um, you know. But try not to focus on that. It's more to do with the for forward movement here this week for you. Um, and, you know... Keep applying yourself to good energy. Keep applying yourself to where you're going. That's what Spirit is saying because this is now really a golden opportunity for you to step into your truth and your power. And you may feel a little bit nervous about it um, or like it's a bit early days. Um, but if you just keep applying yourself and you don't get distracted by triggers and things like that, you know, you can really make something happen now. Um, let's see what advice your spirit guides have got. Um, decision. <laughs> Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. Okay, and the decision card. So um, spirit is trying to help empower you this week to not feel unconfident, you know, to really step into your power. Um, and they're helping you to release any of this negative old energy, karmic energy that may have obstructed you in the past, you know, and they're saying, look, we're helping you now that there, there is a decision that's going to get made. And it's going to take you into a better direction. So um, spirit is really trying to keep you on track in positive vibes this week. And um, you could seriously be on the verge of attracting a really great opportunity that will be a new beginning for you. Um, and it would be abundant as well. Okay, so we're going to um, Virgo. Toil and labour. Okay, so you, you are working very hard this week. You've got a very good sense of direction. It's like you've had the visualizations, you've had the realizations, and now you can actually really go into it, into things like full force, you know? Someone that connects to you as well could be working hard. It 
enlightenment. With enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognise that we are one with the divine. So amazing breakthroughs happening for you, Virgo, at the moment. You're really realising your own divine nature and your unlimited potential. Um, you're really having spiritual upgrades at the moment. It's a massive breakthrough, and it does mean that you can push forward uh, with a much better energy. You'll probably find you'll be much more productive, and you could be on the verge of manifesting something. Um, yeah, you've just gone through an ending um, and a new beginning with the Ten of Swords, um, which has probably been very hard, um, you know, confusing, difficult, but they're saying that you're over the worst of that period now, um, and you've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is a fresh start for you. You're going to be feeling more excited, more refreshed this week, more energised, more passionate. Um and again, it's all about applying yourself, you know, not allowing yourself to get distracted. Um, really stay focused on what you want. Um, and this is now a great opportunity to take action on what it is you do want. Um, okay. So, um, the energy of the people around you or a particular person. You've got somebody here with fond memories of you okay and you've also got here the ten of pentacles which is connections and long-term energy so it's also the card of family matters there could be somebody here that's very sentimental about the past or they have issues to do with childhood or children um they may have family matters or certain responsibilities they need to attend to at this time but it would seem that um they are very genuine and loyal. Um, there could be a new beginning with this person or group of people that is going to be much more positive going forwards. Oh. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay. There's somebody I feel having sentimental memories and thoughts about you, and they have been doing that. Um... They've probably also been thinking about other things. They're aware they need to get certain things in order. Spirit is saying, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. And some of you could be involved in the environment or nature. Okay. Um, so this is amazing energy here for Virgo. You, you've been having a spiritual upgrade. You've had the realisations, you've had the ideas that you can now take action on. Your spirit guides are supporting you to move forward now with a very, very positive energy. Um, and just to be very grounded in yourself. You know, it's like you've, like I said at the beginning of this enlightenment card, you've found your divine nature. You've got more belief in yourself. You've got more trust in your own energy. And this, this is a time where really anything is possible for you. So you know don't limit yourself basically um you could i would say there could be an opportunity with somebody okay a really good opportunity with somebody here for something uh abundant um or something long term okay so i'm going to capricorn Official person. <laughs> okay, so you could be dealing with um, some kinds of authorities or organisations um, to do with something in your life this week. Um, you could also um, have someone in your life that's kind of got an authority over you, <laughs> or perhaps you are, you know, as a, an awakening family on this soul, this channel, this soul channel, it's like you're becoming your own authority as well. So, um, you know, you could be gaining more respect from people here. Admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your par partner. So there is a lovely energy here of both you being respected more by others, respected and admired more um, for your qualities. 
but also equally you seeing the positives you know just really embracing the positives of the people around you because you you found your own power you found your own power when you find your own power you can be much more relaxed and it's easier to notice all the positives in the people around you so there could be some relationships here improving for you okay so there may have been some blocks or worries for you recently um, and you may have felt a bit fearful about what to do, you know. Um, this week is a much better energy. You've got the Queen of Cups. You're very in tune with yourself this week. Um, you're honouring yourself and your heart. Um, you're relaxing into your energy. It's like, like I said, you, you can see the goodness in other people because you can you've been looking after your own goodness you know um there's a lot of loving vibes here this week for capricorn um there's somebody who's in a good position um they're in a good position in their life where they can actually move forward and achieve a great deal um, they may have been thinking about that quite a lot because they've also got the Four of Swords. Um, they may be really pondering things um, this week about what they're doing next, you know, what's important to them. Uh, this is somebody that's not going to make a rash decision. They're really going to think things through. Um, they're trying to be mature. <laughs> um, there's somebody here, I wish I could take my words back. They're thinking about things that they could have done differently. You know, there's a gentle energy. There's a very gentle and loving energy between you and somebody else or people in your life generally. And I feel that the interactions between you and this person or these people going forwards this week are going to be much more wise. You know kind um your spirit guides are helping you with insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off and seeking relief from stress it's, a, it's just such a reflective uh, meditative relaxing um peaceful energy i was going to say i feel like there could be an apology or a sort of mending of a connection or something like that you know and i and i feel it's all coming from where you've really stepped into your power and it's taken you a hell of a lot of courage to do that um but you've been very patient with yourself and patient with other people and i think it's going to pay off this week so yeah it'd be interesting to see what happens it, it could be an apology or an improvement in a connection or situation for you here Okay, so let me just take a drink. I've got juice. I've got it in my cup today. Because I was swigging back the lemonade in the last video and I thought, that doesn't look good. I have to pour it into it. <laughs> That's why YouTubers always use these cups. I always wondered why they use these cups. But when you've got a can of drink, it doesn't look good. When you're filming, it did make me laugh. And I, I watched a little bit back because like, when I'm doing the time stamping, I see bits of the video back. And I was like, oh, Kelly, you can't do it. You can't drink from a can of drink again in a, in a video. It don't look good. <laughs> At least it wasn't alcohol, I suppose. <laughs> it was only lemonade. Right, Aquarius. Community. Okay, so this week sees you feeling much more secure again in your community, uh, people around you, uh, feeling more happy, you know, more connected, more relaxed, more positive. Um, there has been a situation or a person that may have been triggering you. You've got the yin yang card. Um, the yin yang symbol uh, is the twin flame symbol containing the aspect of each other's character in themselves. So there may have been a person or maybe more than one person that's triggered you lately, um, but it's been Spirit's way of trying to get you to recognise the you know, when we slip into ego and we start to feel negative emotions rise up, 
and go, actually, that person's triggering this in me. And instead of getting so annoyed with them, I just need to release this negative me because that's just not me. Like I'm, I'm this beautiful being of light and I just need to maintain my happiness and my joy. And I feel like that's what you're doing this week, Aquarius. It's like you're getting a lot more clarity this week on your happiness and that actually things are really good for you this week. You know, it may have all felt very new lately and put you into a little bit of fear or upset. Um, but you've, with this card, you know, you could have been a bit distracted by things. You've had a new beginning recently and it's been exciting. Maybe an idea or a realisation or something that actually has happened, like physically changed in your life. And, you know, you, you've been excited about this, but you could have also been a slightly distracted and unfocused and triggered at the same time. This week sees Aquarius having much more of a breakthrough and it's like, look, you know, I don't need to be distracted by anybody or anything in my life. I can actually be really focused on where I'm going. Um, I know I've got good connections around me um, and this is a week where you can really start, you know, moving forward. Communications also improving, you know. Um, somebody connected to you may have been a bit quiet lately. And you may have been wondering what they're doing. They've actually been trying to take more wise action. They've, they've actually been a lot less um, impulsive or what have you. And um, that's setting them up much better. This week, they're going to be much more successful. Okay. And they're going to do much better this week. They, they may... There may be communication between you and somebody this week because there's somebody that's been very quiet and this week they sort of seem to come out of that space. <laughs> somebody says, I look everywhere for you. So somebody does really like you, care about you, think about you. And it could even be that they actually come looking for you this week. Um, let's see what your spirit guides are saying. King of Michael, wisdom, objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Yeah, so there definitely could be communication here. That really does confirm it for me. Um, and the Ace of Swords is about truth, integrity, standing in your power. Um, you've, you've had the breakthroughs. I think you know what you're doing now. And you're not going to keep getting triggered by the same person or the same group of people. It's like, no, I'm going to stay on track now. I know where I'm headed. I know what I'm doing. And um, there's a, a feeling of a lot of good people around you as well. Or a lot of good energies around you. So we're going to Gemini. Marriage. <laughs> oh, Gemini. Commitment, okay, so you could be finding a commitment uh, coming towards you this week, okay. Also, you could be committed to something, yeah, if you're not in a relationship, you you may not realise it, there may be a, a relationship that is going to come forward to you at some point quite soon, um, but if that's not on the cards for you in your own sort of goals, um, well, even if it's not, I mean, if it's meant for you, a connection will come to you, even if you're not looking for it. But aside from relationships, it can also signify, you know, commitment that you've got more commitment now to your path and you've got that clarity. Uh, power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing two souls together. <laughs> oh, my God, Gemini. Look, I mean, there, there really could be love on the cards for Gemini this week. Um, but if not, it's the love and the commitment that you now have for something that you do and it's stepping up a notch, which is great news. So either way, it's great news for Gemini. There's a powerful energy coming through this week for Gemini. Things could be going up a notch for you. You see, the path is chosen and action is taken. Three of Pentacles. You basically do know what you're doing now. You basically know the basics of what you're doing. You've got the clarity. You know what direction you want to go in. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune this week. <laughs> Destiny. 
<laughs> something has happened. Something is predestined to happen at this time. You know, I can't tell you what a powerful energy this is that's coming through for Gemini this week. This is great news. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't make this up. You've got the Ace of Cups, right? So somebody's had some sort of awakening and it's very spiritual and heart-based. Um, and this person knows what they want. Um, they're very genuine and trustworthy and they want to move forward with it. So you have got extremely good energy coming towards you this week. Get ready. Um... If you have a little wobble, don't be surprised because we do have little wobbles with the Wheel of Fortune. Because as the Wheel of Fortune turns, sometimes it can just feel slightly triggering or slightly worse. And then it just shifts into being so much better. So you might start the week feeling a bit, bit of a wobble or something during the week like that may happen. But honestly, something amazing, something incredible is happening for Gemini this week. Some of you could seriously find love coming towards you. Either that or you are committing to your path now and it is going to get weirdly, it's going to, everything's going to start getting easier for you. Something is happening for Gemini this week and it's like, boom, something you've been working on, something you've been hoping for. And this week sees it suddenly progress and the energy that you're attracting is of equal quality. You know, a person or people that equally want to move into this higher vibration, who want to put in the work, who are genuine, who are committed. Um, somebody's saying here, you came closer than anyone. Okay. So you could have got underneath somebody's skin and you have got close to them. Um, and or equally, it, you know, you could be close to spirit. You could be extremely close to spirit at this time with that Wheel of Fortune card, with all of these cards. Um, let's have a look at your spirit guides. What are they saying? Release the past, okay? They're saying your spirit guides are helping you to release the past. You will grow from this situation and time heals all wounds. Okay? It is predestined for you at this point that things start to get easier. Things from the past drop away. This is all predestined. Something is getting easier for you now. Something is clicking. Um, and you are close to spirit. You've got very good people around you who are also progressing very nicely. And you may have somebody offer you something this week that's very, very good. You know, it could be money or it could be a relationship. Ooh, Gemini. <laughs> I feel the heat. I feel the heat of spirit as I do in that reading. Um, Libra. Courtship. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So getting to know somebody can be getting to know yourself. And obviously that's a reflection because the relationship we have with ourself is also reflected out into other relationships. So your relationship with yourself has been improving. You could find a, a relationship manifesting for you or improving this week. Clarity. Take time to think about your situation to like, gain clarity. So that's what you've been doing. That's where you're, where you're currently at. You've got the clarity. You've got the vision now. You see much more clearly. You understand You've made the connection in your own mind, um, in your own heart. Wow. Um, you've been really cultivating the frequency of spirit, you know, with the strength card. It takes courage. It's taken a hell of a lot of courage for you to actually connect to yourself to connect to a higher frequency, to accept the way life has been going and to become more at peace with your life the way it is. <laughs> that takes so much courage, but it also means you start to align to spirit and spirit is starting to flow through Libra 
beautifully. You know, you, you're seeing things clearly and Spirit is saying that even though you may feel like there's quite a few challenges against you at the moment, you are now in such a good position to deal with challenges, to deal with situations, to deal with relationships. You know, you're in a much better position for a relationship now. Um, you're, you're also in a better position for lots of things that you're dealing with in your life. Um, there's somebody that's been going through a major transformation. It's either a group energy in your life or a person. And there's been a major transformation here that would have been difficult. Um, it would not have been easy. It was a major situation that had to end. Um, and this person is now headed towards the lights with the Eight of Cups, you know. They are heading towards the light. They realise they cannot stay in the past. Somebody's saying, I am becoming a better person. So there's a great change here. Um, there may have been energies around you or, that were very stuck, um, like I said, stuck in the past or stuck uh, with problems. But they, this, this energy is now moving towards the light, is moving to a higher frequency. Yeah. And you've been doing that already as well. So um, things could massively improve this week for you. Um, relationships could improve at this time and you're much more wise now to deal with the different scenarios that come up in relationships or come up in your life um wow the spirit guides are helping you uh, with the empress cards new beginnings acceptance trust you know you know your value you know your worth and you are now trusting much more trusting vibration you know, I can see that with the strength card. That's what takes so much courage to become more trusting, you know, because when we're fearful, we become very needy. Um, we drop into ego energy. So we either become very blocked um, or we, we become very needy type of thing. And um, that you've taken great courage to push through that um, and to, to find your true self. You know, and your spirit guides are blessing you with the Empress. You will receive blessings this week. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. I mean, they're, they're basically blessing you this week with a new beginning, um, with abundance. And you might be thinking, God, like, what, what's happening? But it's good. You, you're going to be receiving. Um, because you've, you're more trusting, you're more open... You've got much better clarity on how to be in your true power and not get so triggered by people around you. Um, you're maintaining a more conscious vibration and spirit is supporting you now. And uh, something is going to manifest in your life. Could be a relationship, could be something else that's manifesting here that is brilliant. So we're going to Leo. Official person, okay? So you could be um, the, this official person. You could be standing in your power much more now. Um, it's like, yeah, I'm the authority on my life. I'm not going to get pushed around by other people. <laughs> Me, I'm grounded. You could be dealing with different authorities or organisations this week. Trust. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. Okay? So trusting in your connection with spirit, trusting in yourself, you know, and more trust cultivating in relationships for you. And more trust in relationship or situation is manifesting for you. Um, you've had to purge recently. You may have been purging quite heavily. Um, something wasn't good for you and you had to recognise it and let it go. Um, it may still feel like a bit of a struggle. You may feel pulled in different directions this week. You may feel like, oh God, it's the struggle of life. The five of wands represents the struggle of life. 
So it's just where you get pulled in different directions and it can feel like very um, full on. Um, but you can deal with it. You know, the five of wands is very, you, you'll overcome it. You'll deal with things this week that need to be dealt with. Um, because at the end of the day, you've already dealt with a major issue. So you can deal with these issues this week. You can deal with them. Um, Spirit is calling you to trust more, to be in your own power, your own authority. Um, I think you can very much do that. Um, there is an energy next to you that is uh, either a group energy or a particular person who's having some kind of awakening. It's been very uncomfortable for them lately and they probably have felt very stuck. But they're starting to realise their different options. Um, I think spirit is not going to allow them to move forward until they really... Um, until they really change their perspective on something this person needs to change their perspective on something and then spirit will allow them to move forward okay so that's the point that they're at they don't want to drive themselves crazy thinking about all the different scenarios or options they need to just take the courage to have the realization to, you know, to learn the lessons spirit's trying to teach them. This person saying, I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah. Maybe they were doing things that weren't right. Maybe they were taking the wrong path. Maybe not in a bad way. Some maybe they were doing it in a bad way, but for some people maybe they weren't doing it a bad way, but they were just confused. And that's why spirit's been keeping them a bit stuck so that they can cer certainly realise they need to change their approach or see things differently you know there's a lot of options available to this person but they need to be honest with themselves about what is the best option for them um so there's a decision making process going on here for somebody in leo's life the moon okay so spirit is helping you stay very still okay at this time it's like meditating uh this week finding your peace and your calm really trusting in spirit really connecting into spirit really standing in your power um because the moon is a bit of an unknown energy and the more still you stay at this time the more um it's going to be in your favor the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger So there's a lot going on for Leo. <laughs> a lot, I feel there's a lot going on for you and also for your person. But if you stay very trusting in spirit and trusting in yourself, you're going to do very well. And things will get revealed, you know, this week or next week. Okay, so... I'll just take a bit of juice. Right, Aries. House. Okay, so there's something here to do with either your home or somebody else's home. Okay, and it can also represent finding your own home in here because that's our true home. Is our true nature is our our, our home. So. Labyrinth. Even when you feel lost, there is always a way through the labyrinth. Yeah, I think you are finding your way through the labyrinth. You are finding your way home. You are making that realisation about your true nature, who you really are. And then it's, then it's much more obvious what we need to do out there. <laughs> but it's when we don't really feel centred in ourselves, in, in spirit, you know, we... Um, we tend to sort of go searching out there too much and we can confuse ourselves. But I feel something is coming together here for Aries this week, you know, and it's becoming much more obvious to you. Um, so you're seeing things more clearly and you're not getting so tied up in knots or 
chasing things that aren't really meant for you is is good. Yeah, you've been really reviewing things and getting a lot more clarity, King of Swords. Um, you know, and you may have been reviewing things, making decisions lately. Um, and you've been in your power, really. Um, certainly no one in, in power of you. You've been in your own power and you've got a much better balance. So you're going to notice this week things really start to improve for you. This is things in your external reality that is the star going up a level. Not being confused anymore. Much more balanced, much more in your power. And this is the week where things will really start to manifest for you. Um, there's somebody that's been wondering a lot about whether things are worth it. You know, they've been confused. They're not sure. They're, they're sort of overthinking things too much. They've got to make the decision. This person's got to make a decision and just follow their truth. Just follow the truth and don't think about it too much. <laughs> oh gosh, I want you. See, that's what they want deep down. Um, you know, and this could be related to work or a relationship. There's an energy there that actually can do this they can <laughs> it's like they tie themselves up in knots in this you know this labyrinth which i think you've aries has already figured it out i think you've already figured out the labyrinth you've found your way home and now things are starting to really click in for you big time this week you're going to get your wish fulfilled your person or this group energy is still confused but they just got to face the truth, um, which is hard. It's almost like they're a bit stubborn. Um, the Empress, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Spirit is going to bless you this week, Aries, with this card. Okay. Because you've, you've done the work. You have done a major piece of spiritual work on your life and you, you're you back here. You know, you've, you're really arriving and you will be blessed. You're going to be blessed this week for it. Okay, so let's go into Sagittarius. Main male. <laughs> Ooh, so this is a mass, very strong masculine energy. All right. Um, this could be you coming really into your masculine energy and just being really focused and driven this week. There could be a masculine energy that is thinking about you. Soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect. Trust in the process. Mm. So you are really coming into your power this week, Sagittarius. Massively coming into your power. You're in the zone. <laughs> you, you're going to be very productive this week. You're in the zone. Very productive. In your power. Nothing's obstructing you. Yeah, it's like you may have been deceiving yourself with certain plans that you were hoping was going to materialise or you had, you were sort of in this situation where it was confusing and you maybe you weren't being completely honest with yourself. But you've dealt with the sort of disappointments and this kind of stuck energy and things for you are just massively picking up this week. Things are massively picking up. Um... You, like I said, you're going to be so productive. You're back in your power. Nothing's getting in your way. Everything's flowing. And, yeah, I mean, 
now there's somebody connected to you that is thinking and they, they've been very confused and they need to look inside themselves and discover the truth so that they can make a final decision so that they can get more clarity and and know where they're headed like you i mean you've already figured it out you know where you're you're headed and you're not going to let anybody deceive you or confuse you and you're not certainly not going to allow yourself to deceive or confuse you and this person needs to get to the same point <laughs> my life is not together as it seems you know, they're still going through a period of confusion and they find it hard to connect to their true self. Whereas you have done that work. You are now doing that properly. And you're not, because the thing is, we have these momentary situations where we, we feel like we're connected to ourselves and then we get pulled back out into the matrix and get confused again. But that's not happening with Sagittarius this week. Um, your person is still going back and forth, you know, they're, they're all of a confusion. But this spirit is putting them in this situation of confusion to really drive them to a point where they have to wake up, you know. So spirit is helping you with prosperity. Okay, so very abundant week for you. Prosperity is arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So everything is gliding forward for you this week. Uh, money looking good. Uh, your, life per your life purpose coming on leaps and bounds. You're tapping into source. You're flowing. You've removed anything that was blocking your connection with source. That's, you know, you're putting all that to one side and you're just staying really focused. And it's great. Things are really picking up for Sagittarius this week. I think your person will get there. Um, I think it is a masculine energy that is struggling there. Um, they've got a strong masculine energy and they need to just... They will find the answer because until they find the answer, they're just going to keep suffering. So that's why spirit just keeps doing that to them <laughs> till they can just give in to it. And, you know, anyway, let's go into Scorpio. Main female. Okay, so a feminine energy. This could be your energy or somebody else. Um, it could well mean that you'll be receiving something this week, Scorpio. Confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers that you need. Okay. So that could be you confused or it could be somebody else that's been confused. You've been putting in a lot of work here and really progressing nicely and you will become an expert at something that you do. You know, you're becoming an expert now. Um, you're being very wise at this time to review things, to take a step back, to reflect. It's going to re result in you taking very wise action. You're in a very mature energy now. So if there's anything you're not sure about, you will take your time. You will take your time because you want to make sure that you receive what's meant for you. So you won't rush anything. Um, yeah, and, it, and it's good. It's very good. I, I feel like you're, you're um, being very mature now. That's what the cards are showing. You're being very mature and you're taking the wisest action you know and you will receive something amazing um now the energy of it's either a group energy or a particular person there's a lack of clarity here there's there's the page of wands in reversed 
Okay, so that there's a sense of a message that needs to come forward or communication or news that needs to come forward that hasn't been forthcoming. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Swords in reversed. So it's it feels as if a, a final decision hasn't been made or um, somebody lacks clarity at the moment. It feels like something is pending. <laughs> it feels like something is going to happen, but it just isn't happening right now. There's somebody saying, I want to be more than friends. So um, there's, there's somebody that's very interested in you that does want something with you, and you may well know that, or you may already be in a relationship. Um, but this can also indicate that there's somebody, there's somebody here that can action something, make something happen, and they want to. But for some reason, spirit is holding it back a little bit. So I feel there's something coming forward for you. It's just being... It's like you're being prepared to receive something, honestly. I feel like spirit is preparing you to receive something. Um, spirit is helping you nurture yourself and those that you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful and practical and wise advice. <clears throat> so they are supporting you at the moment to really look after yourself, to be really spiritually attuned, to relax, <laughs> to trust in your spiritual flow, um, to use the time. If you're waiting for something to happen, I don't think it's going to cause you stress. I think it's an opportunity that spirit wants you to just sort of almost use to your own advantage, okay? So you're being prepared to receive something, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Let's go into Pisces. I'll just take a drink, actually. <clears throat> Pisces. Courtship. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so your relationship with yourself's been getting better and better all the time. And there's obviously a relationship here in your life that is somebody's looking to get your attention. Let's put it that way. Remarkable. Notice everything remarkable about your relationships. So you're really fully in your power. You know amazing things have been happening with your life. You know you are, you know, a great energy <laughs> with a lot to offer. I feel like somebody or a group energy is vying for your attention. Um, you've been facing all your challenges and you've been rising and you've been noticing that you are dealing with challenges in life a lot better than you used to. You are able to maintain your power and your dignity, even when you're having to deal with multiple things that are tricky. You're centred. And you are taking the courage at this time to stay centred, to stay aligned, you know, in a very gentle, spiritual way. It does take a lot of courage for you at the moment. Okay, so you may be feeling a little bit... A little bit tested by spirit, but you can do this. You can do this. It feels like things are massively improving for Pisces at this time. There's a commitment on the table um, or something solid here, a celebration. Okay. And it's a milestone in your life that this is this is being offered to you or happening um and this person's got the queen of swords this person has a real vision they have a real vision for you and where you fit into everything okay or you're coming into contact with somebody you're working with somebody who yeah they that this is someone who's very progressive this is somebody who really makes things happen
Um, you've got an energy here saying you came closer than anyone. You're really hitting the mark here. You are Pisces, you are really hitting the mark with something. You know, it take, it's taken you great courage and it still is taking some courage here. But you are keeping a very high vibrational energy and you are now in a great position for this opportunity. Whether it's a relationship or something to do with your life purpose, you are now very well placed um, for something to really happen. Um, and you're coming into contact with people who have very clear visions and want to build something very worthwhile. Um, solutions. Spirit is helping you with success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience. That is very true. Self-control and patience is like the epitome of the strength card. It's the ability to stay centred and have courage to stay centred, even when you're feeling tested, you know, because you're now able to do that. And this is going to take you to the next level of your life. Self-control and patience, <clears throat> forgiving and healing energy, you know, like forgiving the past, you've moved forward um, and um, solutions and success is here now, you know. Um, spirit is helping you to navigate if you're finding something in your life a bit testing you can do it spirit is helping you to constantly find solutions to constantly find a way forward to make things successful so some of you could be like going into a relationship or taking your life purpose to the next level and you may have thought it was never going to be possible but it is and it's going to be happening now this week you know right let's go into um cancer concern okay so you may be a bit concerned about something and there's also somebody else that could have some concerns okay it's like oh how do we make this work how does this is this something, is this a good idea, you know? Eleven, eleven, Twin flame. It is important number for twin flames. It symbolises the harmony and the balance of the soul counterparts. Something wants to come into balance. Something wants to come together for you, energetically. You are, with that energy, you are much more balanced in yourself. There is something that wants to harmonise. There's something that wants to harmonise and manifest. You've been going for a spiritual upgrade. <laughs> You've been going for a major, major spiritual upgrade. And you've got the magician. You've got the magic touch at the moment. You've got the ability to use the spiritual upgrade that you've recently received to stay extremely high frequency. So get ready because something is going to come in for you. Something is going to manifest for you. And it's brilliant. It could be your spiritual energy just going to a whole other level. It could be your relationships. It could be your life purpose. It could be all of those things, to be honest. <laughs> it feels like you know now. It's like you've been given the information or you've made the realisations and you now know how to maintain yourself in a much higher level of consciousness. And you're in such a more balanced, high vibrational energy. So are these concerns necessary? Um... There's somebody here that has, has, that they're very cautious, okay? They've got the four of pentacles. They're very, very cautious. Um, they've got the king of pentacles in reverse. This person has a hell of a lot to offer, but they, um, either they don't believe in themselves or they're not forthcoming right now. Um, 
it's like they're not stable enough in themselves or something. They should be. Um, maybe they're ashamed. <laughs> Is this person a bit ashamed? I wish I could take back my words. Um, they're concerned about what's gone on. And they're not really feeling in their full power. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the situation. You are not allowing the situation to drag you down at all. <laughs> if anything, you're using the situation to rise. You know? You really are. Strength. So you've got the strength card. You've got great courage at this time. If you're surprised, Cancer, at yourself at the moment with how you're dealing with things, the reason you're dealing with things so well is because spirit has got your back 100%. Because you have really like done so much work on your truth and high vibration. And spirit is supporting you and blessing you with strength and courage at this time. You know, it's testing. There's a situation here that is very testing, but you're not letting it obstruct you and drag you down anymore. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence and forgiveness. It's like you're very humble now. You're very humble and you understand that it's not really about your twin flame or this person or this situation. It's actually between you and spirit. And that's what it's been the whole time. Spirit's just been putting you through these tests um, to help you learn how to spiritually upgrade you know to help you learn how to come into your peaceful center you know to be kind and loving and just centered um no matter what and and spirit is giving you great courage at this time to keep moving forward in a very high vibrational energy you're going to notice this week cancer that you're more balanced you're more peaceful um, and something is going to manifest for you. It's like, it has to, this thing has to manifest, whatever it is, because you're channeling such great energy from spirit. I mean, this is absolute confirmation. So it's almost like you don't even have to really worry about this person or what's going on over there because you've got a much closer connection to spirit and basically yourself yourself is spirit so it's like wow <laughs> i mean you're going from spiritual upgrades into attracting something you are attracting something all right so you can take the courage to just be balanced and wait for it to come in all right that's the message very good for cancer and i'm sending you lots of love and peace if you'd like to book in just contact me you know i'm here i do an hour's reading i do a 40 minute reading and i also do do a 10 minute voice note message reading if it's more affordable for you um and you can buy my deck if you like uh, you can get the details off my website or contact me everything's below and i'm sending you lots of love lots of peace uh, wherever you are on gaia thanks for supporting